Entrepreneurship, by simple definition, one of the definitions, if I put it that way, is a process of designing, launching, and running a new business, which is often initially a small business. And within the ambit of the International Labour Organization, ILO, sustainable enterprises should innovate, adopt appropriate environmentally friendly technologies, blah, 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 all towards with the system. Nigeria is talking about diversification and uh, Nigeria recently jumped 24 places in the ease of doing business and that is an accolade to Nigeria. Today we are looking at entrepreneurship and our focus will be within the Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center in Nigeria. How well are they doing? Are they adding up to what the federal government is talking about in terms of uh, build up to startups, enhancing communication, all that in the country? Well. I have to discuss this, the National Coordinator Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center in Nigeria, Ofem Obama. Thanks for joining me on Insight. Thank you very much. Also, Beta Awa is the French language class administrator of the Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center in Nigeria. Thanks for joining me on Insight. Thank you very much. Okay, we talk about Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center. What are you guys into? Yes, just like you have uh, mentioned, enhancement means adding value, building up the process. So here in that, at the Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center, what we do is that we are looking at areas that could create entrepreneurship, could build entrepreneurship, could build pro services and products. Therefore, we are dealing with innovative ideas that are coming into entrepreneurship. So we are translating them into services and products. Therefore, we work with people, innovators, people with good ideas that are, are yearning for translation into service or products. So we develop these young men, mentor them, trans transform that idea into a service or a product that will impact his life as a person by creating job for him and therefore generating job for other people. Okay. Now, within Agenda 2063 of the African Union, which is tied almost to sustainable development goals. Yeah. It says, get everybody involved. Yes. Now, I see from your leaflet here, it says startups. Yes. Startups. I, I don't understand. Yeah, starting up. Right, startups means these are people who are about to launch their businesses. They lack, they lack the finances. They lack the, the, the technical know-how. But they also lack the basic business management tools. Therefore, at the, uh, as a startup, we take you through this process, the act of managing a business, the act of running a business, the act of monitoring a business, and the mentoring that follows it. These are areas we are concentrating on to develop products and services. A startup means somebody who is about to start a business. But how do you go about starting a business? You have a business, a like business idea, but how do you start a business? So this is where the center comes in. In our center, we develop you. We take you through those processes and then launch your business and monitor it back up with counseling and guidance that will make you be a successful businessman. Okay. What concerns me now is where comes the issue of French language and uh, the center has a French language class administrator. Can we hear from you? Thank you very much. Um, French language. Um, if you go out around um, the world, innovations, ideas, creativity, most of them, when you put them up together, you realize that there are things that have been there for ages. But with us at Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center, we come up with our own. Coming up with our own, you know, this um, French language, um, the creation of a French language center is an initiative backed up with our vocational um, skills, you know, um, what we do basically, we open up vista of opportunity for people out there to come in and unleash their creativity. So this French language, that um, idea that we came up with, we looked at a strategy of um, partnering with the French Institute of Nigeria. Yeah, by partnering with them, we are looking at quality. We are looking at not just giving out junks. To people out there because if you go out of the street you see french build big, big billboards french language center you see them but most of them are, are not accredited to this institution mm -hmm. so the best way we could do this was to partner with them so we can get this quality and most of our 
at um, tutors and lecturers are coming from there they are accredited from there so give us a leverage give us an edge whereby when someone comes in you get quality so these are some of the um, the the things that we are doing for the French language center okay, which is part of the entrepreneurship, part of the entrepreneurship yeah, enhancement center, okay. center. So, so, so why why emphasis on French as against the English language mm, it's key because uh, most of our Nigerians that go to Ekoa states, you do business out there. You know, there's, you know, communication is a strong tool. So the ability for you to communicate with this um, French nationals, when you go out for your business, you know, you can communicate with them, you understand what they are saying, at least to an extent. It's not an idea whereby you can know all the, you know it all at a certain moment, but the ability for you to communicate buying and selling why buying and selling and you know and it's it's key and it's also it also calls for a global competitiveness yeah where people have this idea you know learning the french culture all these are put together for people to understand french in our center okay so moving on now yes. it, it, it seems to me you guys already have a global coloration that's for true. globally in whatever you're doing can you function without a public governance uh, uh, coverage in terms of what agency or government are you networking with in Nigeria? Okay, there are various agencies that are actually networking with Nigeria. We, okay, just like this French institute that you're talking about is actually the initiative of the French embassy in Nigeria, so to say, to build French language and build the culture of French in Nigerian citizens. And just to add before I go, I go back to your question, w what we are doing here is, you see, uh, when you look at the, uh, most of the ECOWAS sub-regional institutions yes. are, 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 are headquartered in, uh, in Nigeria, specifically in Abuja, you discover if you go in there, you discover that most of the employees there are coming from the Southwest African countries, while Nigerians are very few, because only very few Nigerians can speak French. But this, this capacity building program is to also build capacities of young men to be able to become bilingual. This will assist them to be able to get jobs into global institutions, just like what is happening now. So we are building not only for business aspect of it, also enhance your CV as a young man that will take you to global, to make you a global competitor in terms of job seeking and job opportunities. Now, we have, we have, we have, uh, you know, through our our, our, our publication, the. Nigerian SMB journal. We had uh, we had we had, we had, had some sometimes uh, uh, some uh, 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 CBN has used our journal to promote to promote financial inclusion, and that uh, they were we are using it to promote financial inclusion to also promote the activities of the, the of the institution. We also we are now going online in terms of publication because we have to have a, a wider audience on it. So as soon as we, 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 we launch the, the online version of it, we, also, we are authorized to, to, to have enough material from all those institutions. Nigerian, uh, Nigerian uh, uh, Nexim, the CBN, and other institutions that, and Bank of Industry, all those are institutions that will come into the journal because we are disseminating their information to the public. Okay. So what kind of products companies. do you sell within the SME journal? So that maybe startups yes. who want to be interested in what you're publishing. No, because in the, the SME journal, what we are, what we, what, what we are out there to do is to make sure that, for instance, the ease of, you need to study the ease of doing business, the concept of the ease of doing business. As an SME, you should know. Okay. Now you know that you can do your you can do your business reg registration with ease, and other licenses that you require to run your businesses. They have now been able to to to, to make them to uh, to be to be uh, to be available or maybe provide those services. The institution are supposed to provide those services and now making it easier for people to get those services or go do, get those licenses. So that is what the SME journal will be giving out to the startup. So if you have, you have enough awareness in terms of the packages available at the CBN, in terms of what is what you can have in the, in the next Zim, the how you be able to source your machinery, the loan available in the bank of industry and all that. And then your access to microfinance banks too. So these are the products that, and their services or the, the information that will be available in the SMB journal. Okay. Now I'm a Nigerian, mm -hmm. and government is talking so much about startups. They need to encourage as uh, small medium enterprises through maybe Bank of Agriculture, Bank of Industry, and other agencies that, that have the mandate in doing this. 
I want to get to Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center. How do I get there? It's very simple. Bring in your ideas. What products are you looking at okay. for us to work with? What exactly do you want? Because as I rightly said when I was talking before, I said we are open to ideas. We are open. There are vistas of opportunity out there. So what we basically do is that we have products on ground, but we also look at people who also have initiative, ideas, other products that they can bring, and then we work together. We go as much as um, doing um, vocational skills, tie and dye. We do things like um, events. People come in and they bring in their proposal for events, event management, how they want to teach the youth on you know, building their capacity on how to do um, small chops and other um, products that follow suit. So what we do is that when you come with these um, products, we welcome it and we push it up from there. So that is what we do. It is very wide. We have other products aside, but what we basically look at, when you bring in a product that suits our mandates, we push it up for you. Okay. Yeah. That is for products so now. Yeah. In terms of, for instance, is this center only for Abuja crowd? Or is it for a Nigerian crowd? Not, not necessary. Like I've told you uh, before, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are building a platform. You can reach us anywhere through our website. We can, you can we communicate. We talk globally with other global institutions too. I mean, they, you know, because of this, uh, the te te technology age now, there's no, there's no location. We are, you, are, you are supposed to be all over the globe, provided you have been able to employ, uh, deploy some of those tools. ICT, if you deploy it, you know you're a global competitor. So you, you, you'll be reached by the, by the global audience. So that is how we are But If you want physical location, so to say, we are located in Abuja, I mean Abuja here for now, hoping to reach out to other, other areas, other states. Because for well, instance, if yes. a government agency mm. wants to make it faster, because government understands the fact that uh, private sector is key to whatever they are doing, and most government initiatives now, they run them through PPP more than that, yes. public private, private partnership. partnership. Yes. And then that's okay. Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center, please come. We want to use you to do startups for young Nigerians in the area of maybe, uh, okay, she used the word tie and die. Let me yes. use that as for an example. Yes. Or uh, software development. Yes. How do you come in? Uh, of course, like we, we say, you see, we have seen that as an institution, we don't have it all. So we build collaborations, we build partnerships. For instance, right now we are trying to do uh, uh, these modern flux tires that will replace the tires, the normal tires that you talk about. So we are now designing a program that will develop youths to pick this, uh, to build this capacity and deploy immediately for employment. Okay. So changing the face of interior decor, um, interior designs of a building, or interior finishing of a building Three that years. brings in new technology. The flux types are are very very current now. So we are we are now a, a young man has brought that technology. Is he in Nigeria? He's in Nigeria. Okay. So he has brought it and then we are looking at it. He is ready to build capacity for about as multiple as many people as the youth are interested in. So we are now working with that. We are developing that right now. It will be launched next year, early next year. We're inviting young people to come and learn how to do how to how to build that skill. Because the whole idea about what we are doing is to make somebody employ himself and employ others. Okay. That is what we are doing. So, we have uh, constant co collaboration and linkages between those, those, uh, those service, service providers and relevant institutions that will provide them necessary support is what we are doing. Okay. So, what message do you have for young Nigerians who still don't want to leave the toga of white collar job and go into entrepreneurship? No. I have a big message for them. Okay. The big message that I have for them is for them to think out of the box. Think a little bit out of the box and come out with creative ideas. Fine, you're looking for white collar jobs. Yes, you will get it, no doubt. But then for how long? How long will you sit out there waiting? Sit out there wallowing in self-pity and condemning everybody. The government have set out other uh, uh, mechanisms to see that there are jobs, but it has not gotten right. It has not gotten to everyone. But for that, uh, for the reason why it has not gotten for everyone, doesn't mean that you should sit and still wait. Take out a bold step. Come out, 
like for what we are doing in our organization, come and join us. Come. We have um, um, this um, guy that we are partnering with that uh, my boss just talked about, the Borderless, uh, Borderless Engineering Limited. Borderless Engineering Borderless Limited. Engineer okay. Limited. Okay. They're coming out with um, people to learn how to make concrete tires, as he has said. It's an initiative that will help people to tra train people and like train the trainers. All these boy, these people that we are coming out to come and learn from us. When they learn, they will be able to train other people and they will be able to be capacity for themselves and no longer wallow in self pity that oh, I don't have what I'm doing. Then for the French session, we are inviting you out there to come, come and learn French. It will help you. It will do you more good for you to have, uh, for you to be a, a linguistic or uh, a multinational to understand the language. Maybe I'm one of your potential students. Yes, <laughs> you are one of us <laughs> and you are <laughs> you are invited yeah, to come start with us. These are ideas, these are things that we are bringing out to the public. Not only that, we even have, we have a, pro, a, a product that is called Sat, Sat Plus that we help um, um, HIV AIDS patients to, to, to take away their mind from the stigmatization of, oh, I am H HIV AIDS patient, what, what will I do with myself? Okay. We bring out products skill acquisition product like uh, uh, um, um, fashion designing for them okay. we come up with that product so when you are working maybe sewing tailor doing tailoring job or or, or uh, baking or doing one of, of, of these skills it will help your mind you take your mind away from you know all those little things that trouble you you know you concentrate okay. and so these are what we are bringing out to the general populace that people should come and you know and partner with us they should come out there. We have a lot of products in Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center. So this is what I am telling the general population. Well, Projection-wise, so I will expect that uh, you have your projection where you'll be in the next one or two years. Yes. Can you share your thought with us? Yes, we are looking towards actually having a multi-purpose center that all these skills will be in various silences so that you pass through the entrepreneurship, you are ready to go. Our objective is to, to, to bring to like a, a pick and take skill center that when you come you pick a skill and just go to use it to begin to do your job, to begin to create employment, to begin to create wealth. That is what we are doing. This particular program here, one of these programs that we have here, they unleash your creativity. Okay. That program comes up. Right now we are starting the audition. We have got over over almost one thousand people who are registered in this program. This is a film capacity making, a building, a capacity building film for filmmaking for young men that will go out there. They will be, they are, all of them who have registered are now being grouped. We are, the auditioning we are doing, we are also using a technology based auditioning so that you remain there and uh, uh, produce your film and then send it to us. Then our judges will look at all what we have received. Instead of inviting people to come from left and right and center to, uh, near, to, a, to a center or to a state or a location, and then you begin to do your auditioning, traveling, paying money and all that, we say no. We, technology has made things simple. Say where you are. Give us your, make a film. Okay. If I, if I get you right, yes. if government says, okay, we love what you're doing, mm -hmm. we want to partner with you to help us maybe upload mm -hmm. a, a particular class of persons to what you're doing. Yeah. Where, where will you want government to come in to partner with you? What we want government to do, you see, we need enabling environment support because there are certain tools that we need to bring in. There are certain machines. You see, for instance, if you are talking about agriculture, there are hand tools that you can use to promote agri and make agriculture a very, a very interesting enterpri enterprise or better, in interesting business for young people. But here we are, you don't expect people to use cutlass and hold to go to the farm. We, ex we are looking at our center to partner with government to bring in those tools, train those people on how to use these, these tools and send them out there to the, to the fields to go and deploy those tools and make agriculture the mechanized one they are talking about. We don't need the big tractors. Okay. We just need simple, simple hand tools okay. to do all that. Yeah. They say how time flies and I, I, I want to have more time with you because as we speak today in Nigeria, there are a lot of startups, yeah. potential startups and young Nigerians are really keen into what government is talking about diversification of the economy the time for people not to wear the toga of white collar jobs i think it's time to win off well i've been chatting with uh, the management of the entrepreneurship enhancement center 
that offers a lot of assistance to the young Nigerians. Better Hour, French Language Class Administrator. Thanks for being on Insight. Thank you. And also National Coordinator, Entrepreneurship Enhancement Center of FEM Obomo. It was my opportunity on Insight. Thank you. Okay.